welcome back to Phonics with Felix. My name is Leanne and this is Felix. And today, Felix, we have a really tricky sound to learn. Huh? I know. Well, I'll tell you why it's tricky. Because there are two ways of sounding it out. <gasps> I know, I know, it's shocking, isn't it? So today, we are going to learn both ways to sound out a new digraph, Felix. Do you remember what a digraph is? Everyone at home, I'm sure you do too. Two letters, one sound. Absolutely, two letters, one sound. Or in this case, two letters, that makes two sounds. I know, I know. So let's have a look at what it is. So today we have this digraph. Now the two letter shapes, O and W together, they can make the sound O as in snow, but they also, when put together, can make the sound ow, as in brown cow. I know, I know, it's crazy. So this is the sound we are going to learn today. Ow and o. Oh. So to make it less complicated, <laughs> I have a little game to play. So let's pop our digraph in the middle of a chart I have made. Now on this side, we have the O oh sound. O, oh, as in, what word do I have up here, Felix? Snow. Yes, O oh, as in snow, because sometimes you will see this digraph in words where we have to sound it out like O, oh, but sometimes you'll also see this digraph in words where we have to sound it out like ow, absolutely, as in k ow. So we have s n o o and k ow ow. Oh my goodness! Shall we have a go at our phonics challenge? Let's do it. So I have some words in our sound box which we have to put on the right sa right side. Does it sound like O oh, or does the word sound like ow? Let's work it out. So are we ready for our first word? I'm going to hold it up to the screen so you can see it. How would we sound this word out? You ready, Felix? K ow cow. Well done. K ow cow. So is it on this side, O oh, as in snow, or is it on this side, ow as in cow? It's ow as in cow, isn't it? K ow. What about this one? Are you ready? I'm going to hold it closer. Off you go, Felix. B o o below. Well done. B o o below. Which sound is it going to go on? O as in snow or ow as in cow? O as in snow. Well done. B or O as in snow. O, ow. Very complicated, but we are doing great. Let's have a look at our next one. Are you ready, Felix? What does it say? O, ow, now. Well done. Now, as in O, oh, as in snow, or ow, as in cow. Ow, as in cow, it does. N ow, ow, cow, now. Fantastic. Well, we're doing really well. And what's this one? <gasps> Are you ready? I'm going to hold it close. G, g, er, o, grow. Well done. G, er, o. Grow. Is it O as in snow or ow as in cow? What do you think? O as in snow. Well done. It is O as in snow. So can you see the different ways we can sound out this digraph? So when I point to the words, Felix, you are going to say them. Are you ready? Below. Grow. Cow. Now. Excellent, you got them all right. And I'm sure you can think of even more words. In fact, me and Felix, we thought of some more, didn't we? Are you ready? These are the ones we came up with. So let me show you. What does that one say? S -n -o, snow. Snow, 
which side Felix does it go on? This one. Oh, as in snow, because it does say snow. Fantastic. What about this one? I'll sound this out because Felix has the pointer in his mouth. Bur-er-own. Bur own Brown. Which side, Felix? Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Yes, well done. It's on the k ow ow side. And the last word we thought of the extra word s o o s o o slow slow slow. Is it on this side o or this side ow? Felix, what do you think? Yes, well done. So can you see we've separated all the words so we know the different ways to sound the OW digraph out. It's quite tricky, isn't it? But once you get used to it, you'll be absolutely fantastic. Well done for joining in. Good luck and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.